Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm getting my other group started, and we'll get started. Hello, Facebook. Good morning, tribe. You got YouTube and you guys going. We should be good. I have to turn off that backlight. I think it's, is it, that can be too much. Let me turn off that backlight, you guys. Oh, it's going to be too much. Let me get this light a little bit closer. Oh, we're going to adjust things just a little bit. I need to put a light pipe back behind, but ah, looks good. All right. Let me know you here if you're here, and we'll get started. So we're, we're going to work hard today, but it's going to be like about 30 minutes. So go intense, right? And um, do what you can. So if you are a beginner, and um, number one, you can do these workouts. Like, I don't want you to, so I'm, I'm sorry, my, uh, well, that's an Apple Watch. I'm sorry, my thing. Um you can do these if you are a beginner, feel free to. Um, I am doing beginner workouts now specifically for those of you who maybe are like a little bit nervous about doing a workout. So they are going to be at 7.45 and 4.30 every day, 7.45 a.m., 3, 3, yeah, 3, no, 4.30 every day. And there'll be about 15 minutes. And so it just gets you started. So that way, if you need something that's, you know, Jen, let me help me figure things out. And I've got you covered, okay? So that is the plan. Um, I, let's get that music started. And today, today we're having 90 seconds of power is what I'm calling it. So we'll do some exercises, and then I'm going to hit us for 90 seconds of power and give you an exercise, and you go all out for 90 seconds. You go as fast and as hard as you possibly can for those 90 seconds. I want you to remember what your number is. And we're going to test these. We're going to do this each, each Friday, those power 90s. So see how you're fitness is improving. I'm all about like, I'm all about tracking my results, making sure that I'm improving. And we should see improvement over time. I mean, help, number one, it gives us motivation, right? To see ourselves improve. And number two, it lets, you know, lets you know, like, hey, am I pushing myself hard enough during the week? So that I'm seeing these improvements and stuff. So if you would grab your phone or grab a notepad real quick, and then you keep track of after the 90 seconds, I want you to write down how many you did of each thing. So I'm going to give you just a second to do that. And then we will get started with the warm warms about two minutes. We're going to go right into our workout today. How does that sound? And let me know always if you're here, if you watch the replay, would love to know who's here and watching the replays and stuff. But outside that, we're going to go. All right. Do you have your notepad? Do you have your music pumping? All right. Good Friday. Let's do this. Get all the way back. Glasses on the chicken. chicken. You guys can see me. I'm back here. All right. We're good. We look at them both. All right. Here we go. All right, so just simply squat it out. Let's warm it up. Good, easy, and simple today. You started. Oh, I forgot our word. We use the word empowered because I've been doing, I just did a podcast on being empowered. So empowerment, right? But it's personal empowerment because you need to be empowered yourself. We can't look for other people to empower us. You have to find it within. That source comes from within. It doesn't come from other people. Our problem is that we tend, side to side, we tend to look to other people for happiness, right, to inspire us, but really it's within you, there's something that inspires you, there's something that you long to do and long to be, so it's tapping into that, let's see what it's doing, side to side, warming up those legs, all right, three, two, give me one more on this side, okay, jog it out, so I'm not sure where you live, but yeah, let's just extend their stay at home for another two weeks. So I'm definitely here for another three weeks, you all. <laughs> Jimmy Jacks, you can be right here if you're a beginner. No worries, do what you need to do. Looking so good. All right. Two, three, two, one. Squat it again. One more round. You guys warmed up. We good. My timer set. So today, when you fatigue, when you want to give up during those 90 seconds, remember you're, you are empowered. So where does that come from? It comes from within. And side to side. I am filling my legs after this week, though. It's good to be sore. It means I work some different muscle groups. There we go. Do it. One more each side. And run in place. All right, let me do the jumping jacks. All right, three, two, 
one, okay. Inchworm, but we have inchworm is anything that happens when we go down with inchworm. So inchworm is just simply walking it out, yes? Yeah. Toe tap, shoulder tap, two push-ups. Knee in, knee in, inchworm back. Ready? Here we go. No fast, not fast yet. Here we go. Inchworm out. Do I put shoulder tap, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, two push-ups. And then run one, two, inchworm back. Not sure if I got it. Well, backwards, but we'll do it that way. Here we go. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, two push-ups. Inchworm back. Now, when you go down, your knees can be on the ground. That's fine. So if you're not at the point where you're right here, no worries. Just drop those knees. No more like that. And guess what? This is one of our power moves. So get the form. Nice and slow. Nice and good. And then we are going as hard and fast as we can after this one. Here we go. Show tap. Two push-ups. All right, so you've got it. Nine seconds all out. Now remember, keep track, keep count, because we're gonna write it down. So you can test yourself for next week. Grab some water. Let's do this. 90 seconds of fun. Here we go. Three, two, one, go for it. So you are going at your own pace, determining how many you can do in 90 seconds. I will let you know when we have 60, and we have 30 left. We're staying with it. I'm going for it with you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like doing the, doing the dance up here. Oh, man. Here we go. All right, 60 seconds. How are we doing? Getting the moves messed up and all like I did. All live, all real. Here we go. with it, stay with it. Doing so good. We got this past halfway, y'all. Hang in there. Thirty seconds. Here's your, can you do? Hang on to it. Keep going, keep going. Oh man, I get one more in. Quick. Woo! All right, so we have 30 seconds. Take a break, write down your score. Don't forget to write it down. All right, write down. Because I'm doing this to you. All right, so you can just call it inch warm. So it'll be the same each week. Okay, once you have it down, go ahead and side to side. Side to side, good. Right there. Good work. You did awesome. All right. Remember those side to side squats right here? We're going to just start single side to side. Really get low since we just have our body weight. Move my stuff. No good. Keep it nice and low. Booty goes way back. Hold it to the left. Hold it. Ready? Go down low. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Stay there. Get out. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10 singles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, sorry, we're on 5, 4, we're not going yet. 3, 2, 1. Good. I need to pause it. All right, here we go. Side to side. Off, oh, got to pause. Pause. We're going to do another round. Here we go. Stay with it. Good work. Keep going. Get really deep. How far back is that booty going? 
You want to really low? All right, hold it right side. Here we go. I'm going to pulse it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it low. My legs are shaking. Here you go. Pulse it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. So when you hold, why don't you look? How are you going low? If your chest starts to come forward, back it off a little bit and go back up. I'd rather you have you have me upright, then not pulse it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Singles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's set up for our next 90. Okay, so just stay with me here. Okay, step around, turn. Step around, turn. Now, squat. Step, turn, squat. Okay, if you're not going to jump, this is what you're doing. Okay, if you are going to jump, it's with those arms, swing it down low, swing into that squat, squat. How many times can you squat side to side? We're gonna grab that water. And let's get ready. As soon as he gets the commercial. All right, so as fast as are you, I'll let you know 60 and 90 again. It's six, 90, yeah, 60 and 30. All right, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's do it. No tight leg buttons. So here, if you're jumping, roll through those toes, land lightly like my marshmallows. If you're not jumping, it is just fine. So as you get here and get low, keep that chest proud. Are you counting? Don't forget to count. We'll get a good song going. All right, go. We have 60 seconds, so pick it up. The way you get more power when you're doing this, really swing those arms. Swing those arms. Hit it side to side. So those arms are throwing up that momentum when you, when you get down. Make sure you land softly there. Watch those knees. Keep going. Oh, man, I lost my count. Stay with it. Stay with it. My legs are on fire, you guys. Keep going, keep going. Once again, here, yes. Here, yes, it's fine. The way you build intensity, let's say you're athletic, we can't do the five metrics. You're here. I want you to really step power. Here, step power. Here, step power. Get really low. And that's going to increase the heart rate. And I'm going to give you that work. Power. 15 seconds. Uh, 10. Give that five, three, two. All right, write down how many. You can call it squat jumps. Let's do it. Do it, do it. Let's do it. And that's your side to side when you're ready. I might have to redo this when I lost count and I stopped. All right, later, okay. Here you go, right here. Yes. So right there. Three, two, one. Okay. Right here, that knee comes in. These are awesome for abdominal work and for moving our fitness level. So right here, we are crunching right there. We're going to do slow and focus. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Again, four, three, two, one. Feel the movement. Three, three, four, three, two, one. Feel the movement here now. Go fast up. We'll feel it when we're doing it fast. Why we sometimes we go fast? We're throwing our back and our chest into it. We don't want that. We want it to be core when we go fast. All right, four, three, two, one. And again. So make sure you feel it now. Now two and two. One, two. Good. Again, one, two. Good. One, two. Again, one, two. Okay, now slow singles. So check yourself. Are you throwing that chest or any other momentum into it when you come up? It's all core. Yes. I'm not even, the bounce, I'm not even hitting that bounce. I could be here and not even touch the floor. And it still comes up with the same power. So you know you're using your core. All right. Let me make sure there's the comments. Stay with it. Stay with it. All right. Other side. Because what's happening is we're 45 on one side, 45 on the other. You get both sides ready to go. 
Do it again. Three, two, one. How's that core doing? If you need to hold on to something, you sure can. Just engage it there. And four. We should have it now. Two and two. Good. In. Ready? Singles. Double check. If you can, don't touch the floor. So that you know that you are going with just your core. Give me two more. I'm ready for that 90 second burst. Okay. Options. You can be here. You can also add that jump in if you're ready to add that jump. If you're a beginner, stay here and make sure you're engaging the muscle before you do anything. All right, ready, team. 45 seconds each side. Three, two, one. Hit it. Count. Don't forget to count. So you're here. No, I go really fast here. You just fine. Just watch that we're not tapping that floor and using that bounce. Woo! So think of what you're doing. Keep going. Come here because you have 15 seconds left on this side. I want you to push it. Go a little bit faster. We can always dig a little bit deeper. So there's a little bit more that remains in us. If we really want to tap into it, it's all about will. Right? That mind over there. You tell yourself, yes, I can and yes, I will. You'll do it. Stay with the switch. So here, Nita, go. 45 seconds. Stay with it, stay with it. Come on, 30 seconds. Go, go. I'm coming because I'm cheering for you. Cheering for you right now. I'm asking you to go a little bit harder. I've been doing without the jump. Can you add just a little bit of a jump in right now? Because we have 18 seconds. Keep it only for two, and then you go back to this, and then hit another two. Right? Do what you can, but always try. But a little bit more. Eight. Come on. Stay with me. Five. Two. Record your results. Good work. First you have five. Yeah. So. Knee ends is what I call those. You got to record what you did, you said? All together, up to you. When you're ready, we're coming out to that mat. Come into the mat. You ready to go? Okay. There you go. Down that mat, back on the mat. I'm going to have to buy this app. They're going to get me. Here we go. Back on the mat. Let me skip. Here we go. Ready? We're here. Bring it up. Hold. Down slow. Bring it up. Hold. Down slow. Again, bring it up. Hold. Down slow. Bring it up. Hold. Down slow. Bring it up. Hold. Down slow. Bring it up. Hold. How are you holding is that are you crunching? Build your belly button, You're folding a piece of paper. Now bring it up, hold. Take it down. Bring it up, hold. Okay, now punch. Each one down. Up, hold. Punch, punch, down. Up, hold. Punch, punch. Do. As I do this, when we punch, we're engaging that core. So I'm actually feeling my side obliques work right here. As I'm up, punch, punch, down. Up, hold. Punch. Good. Now stay up there. Three, two, one. Hold again. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Hold. Three, two, one. Hold. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Two, Release it down. All right, come on back up. Punch. Down. You've got it. We're going to be doing some, something like this for crunches, you guys. About 90 seconds. Man. So the key is with this one is when you come up, you hold, your core, your core is completely engaged. When you reach the side, you should feel the side loop. So you're, you're punching with your abdominals twisting you. That's where your power is coming from, the abdominal twist. We can do exercises all day long, 
and not make much of a difference because we're not engaging the muscles. Then no point. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. No point in doing using the muscles. Sure, you might burn some calories, but don't we want to work the right muscles? So we're actually building that muscle and burning more fat at rest? I think so. Okay, bring it down. So 90 seconds. You're gonna bring it up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. You're gonna do the hold. Do the hold. You're contracting your core and keeping it solid there. So make sure you do the hold. If you need to go down in between, do that if you need to, but try to stay up for as long as you can for the entire time. I'm gonna face this way. That hurt my clock. Here we go. Are we ready, team? Yes, Jen, we are. I thought so. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, make sure you're really hitting it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. So you go as fast as you want on those punches. That's where the work comes in. That's where you're really going to feel that core work. Stay with it. Now come down if you need to. That's We have 60 seconds left. Here we go, two more rounds of third. We got this, right, team? Yes, Jen. One, two, three, four, How are we doing over there? Are you, how's your core? Make sure it's engaged. Check your form. Don't let that form slack. Hold yourself up if you fatigue and you cannot be at that engaged position anymore. Let's say, like, you're, Jen, I'm gonna do it. Just, one at a time for me, okay? There's always options. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Are you counting? I hope you're counting. Hope you have a good song. Bummy 10 seconds, you all. All right, record your, record your results. Why are we recording results? Because we're going to be doing, it's going to be our Fit Friday, Test Friday. So we do the same ones every Friday. All right, here we go. Bring it up, back to that bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, here we go. All right, when you're ready, take that lunge forward. And then lunge it back. Lunge forward, lunge it back. Lunge forward, lunge it back. So keep doing that 99 year old. Lunge forward, lunging back. If you get low, we don't have any weights in our hands, so we can get really low here. Going oh, good. Doing so awesome. Stay with it, stay with it. Lunge it back. Lunge. Hold it front. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I feel like you guys can't see me. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Right there, pulse it. Right, come up on this foot. Lift that back leg. Let's work that glutes for a second. So right here. Just pulse right there. Work that glute. Get it solid. Great ways to work glutes. Yep, go and pulse. If you need to hold on to something, you can. No worries. Ooh. Balance. Here we go. There we go. All right, hold it up. Ready, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that leg back. Here we go. Lunge back. Should be the opposite leg. I directed you correctly. Lunge it forward, lunge it back. Lunge it forward, lunge it back. Again, lunge it forward, lunge it back. You got how's that 99 roll? We're making sure that we are set up. That knee should never go over that toe, right? Keep lunging forward, lunging back. A really good solid stance there. 90 degree roll. Lunging back, right? Lunging forward. Lunging back, lunging forward, hold it here, here you go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and eight. Six, five, four, three, two. 
Hold it. Good morning, legs. Right, here we go, ready? Lift up, pulse that back leg. Bring your butt so you guys can see. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so 30 seconds or 45 seconds on each side. We're doing our using our lunges. Show you options if you don't want to jump. Now, other way. It'll come from the back stance, 90, 90. We power up, lunge back, 45 seconds on each side. If you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. You can lunge. You can still lift that knee and get to that core. Go back right there and keep that power. All right. Are you ready, team? Grab that water. We're going in three, two, one. Let's hit it. Take one leg. It doesn't matter which one because we're doing both. Get low on that lunge. Good and low. We get that power and jump. Remember, if you need to, you are here. You can get a great workout if you push it right there. You don't have to have that jump. Keep going. Count. You're counting. Stay with it. Stay with it. How you doing? Hang on. All right, so check. How's that form? Are you... Can you jump higher? Can you give me a little bit more? Maybe you go down a little bit lower. Maybe you never know unless you push yourself. Promise you it's worth it. That little bit extra. Oh, switch. That little bit extra is what makes all of the difference. We push ourselves just a little bit more. I always ask myself after my workouts, I record my workouts. How did I do? What was my percent that I gave? If I didn't give her 100, why didn't I? What am I going to do to make it up? Keep going. 15 seconds. If you start 15, remember, here's your option. Down low, power. Down low, power. Ah, my foot wants to jump, though. Stay with it. Oh. All right, record, record. So there's a power lunge jumps. You have one more. One more. It's a combo. This is meant to test Thai fitness, so stay with me on it, okay? We're gonna get low. Shuffle with me, we're gonna go slow so we get it, okay? We're gonna come on out, all the way down, right? Four push ups. One, two, three, four. We are running, but we're running outside for eight. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Come on back in. Okay. You're low here. Jump, shuffle. Same thing, other side. Make sure you guys can see me. Let's walk through it slowly before we hit that 90 seconds. Power. So right here, where are we? We shuffle right. Low. Take it out. Now, this is ultimately going to become an option for a burpee but with the push-ups in, in front. So you jump down if you want. Knees can be down or up. Right here. If you want your knees, can be down as we bring in that knee. So you don't have to be up. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back. And what are we doing? Jump, shuffle. Other side, walk it out. What is it? Four push ups. What is it? Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back. Now, jump, then shuffle. All right, are we ready? This is it. This is the grand finale. Grab some water. We're going 10 seconds. So, this is the last one. Oh, this is how it looks when you have the burpee. Forgot. Okay, show sure. you. So, I'm here, right? Right? We're coming out, we're jumping out, right? Jump out with it. You give your four push ups, your knee, and then you are going to come in and up, and then you're shuffling. Okay, so it's gonna come. That burpee's gonna come from when we're down. Jump in here, and we shuffle. If you need to, if you have room problems, I got you. Shuffle here. The next time, shuffle diagonal. Doesn't need me do that. All right, no time like the present. Three, two, one, let's do it. 
Get down low. Right? We shuffle down low. Out. Here we go. I'm going for it. One, two, three, four. Here you go. How are you doing? Who's your last one, So I thought, 60 seconds. Whew. Now you can drop to the knee if you need to. Shuffle your back. Oh, I didn't get low enough my shuffle. All right, don't forget, keep going. You're halfway. So how are you doing? Check yourself. Do you push up? Drop your knees if you have to, but don't stop. Do one push up and one ally inside, then go back to it if you need to. Do what you can, you can do, but you must finish. Because we've only got 27 seconds. No one stops. No one stops. Out here, what it looks like, as long as you keep going warm. Out here, if you fight for one push up, the next 27 seconds. But we are not going to give in. We're not going to stop. We're finishing as a team. We start as a team, we finish as a team. Yes. I know it hurts. I know it's painful. We got it. Uh, woo! Uh, record. Virtual high fives. Great job. Are you ready? You ready to cool it down? Sorry, sorry. Oh, I need a corner. I don't think I can. I forgot to count. I was watching myself. Bounce, bounce. Here we go. Good job. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. Way. Good. So cool down some yoga. Do a little mindset work. Yarn with their day. Release one arm down. Other hand switch. Good. Stretch out that waist. Open it up to you. So those of you are just joining us for the mindfulness, they've opened up that waist. First, you worked it. Stretch it out. Oh, yeah. Knee up and around. I am so proud of you. Good job. We're using our word of the day, empowerment. Where does empowerment come from? From within. We all have it within ourselves. Whew. Here we go. Good work. One more. Go ahead and come down on that mat. Right. Round that back. Exhale, look up towards the ceiling, good. Round, and exhale. Round, and exhale, good. Round, and exhale. Push back into that child's pose, releasing out that back. Oh. Good work. Okay, and back onto all fours. Tuck those toes in, run it downward dog. Pump it out. Awesome job. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Oh. Oh, there we go. Keep going. Keep pumping. <laughs> All the way. All right, bring those knees in. Bring our inhale and exhale to one side. Close those eyes. Reach up far, far up. Appreciate for a moment what you just did. Breathe it in fully. I right, sit there and begin to draw your mind to the present moment right back. Our affirmation for this morning. Um, I do that. Bring the, those thoughts center to the day. Think about all that you're going to accomplish today. Think about the amazing things that you're going to do because it's just now the beginning of the morning, right? So we can set our intention. We set them strong and good if we want to. It's up to us, though, to really set them. So close those eyes. I want you to look within and just see if there's anything that you're holding on to this morning that maybe is going to drag you down today. You know, this, the morning is the best time to get rid of those thoughts, those things that might drag us down, those things that might hold us back in life, those things that keep us from moving forward and becoming the best person we possibly can be. So I will too. Any more limiting beliefs, what story you're telling yourself, or maybe just that I think that you're worried about that you really don't have control over. Anything in there robbing you of your joy, your happiness this morning. And then I want you to think of something you can replace it with. What's something that you're grateful for? What's something good in your life that you can be really happy about if you want it to be? We all have something. 
Sometimes we have to dig deep to find it, but there's something there. Always something. We woke up this morning, you know. We have another day. How many people didn't wake up and have another day? Something to be thankful for. We have one life to live, and I'm not ready to be dead yet, so I'm so thankful for every morning that I get up and have another chance to serve people and live, you know, and that's something amazing breath. We're able to move. I have a roof over my head. It's people who love us, care about us. Which thing could really replace that the, the thing or those things that were in you? When did you find it? Hold on to that. And we'll do our breathing at the end to release. And let's talk about our affirmation today. I like this one. It goes good with empowerment. I unlock my potential. Fulfilling my potential creates more meaning and happiness in my life. Each day brings me many ways to develop my potential. I tackle challenging projects. I gain new knowledge and stretch my skills. I accept this comfort. I willing. I'm willingly. I, I am willing to work hard on delay gratis, gratif, gratification. Gratification. Woo! Words are tumbling me this morning. The time I spend learning a foreign language or playing a piano is more rewarding than watching television or talking on the phone for hours. Whereas right now, can, I can knock out talking on the phone because you're actually engaging with people, which is good right now. I preserve. Um, there. Are, I persevere through obstacles and delays. I plan for possible setbacks and develop alternative solutions. I build my confidence. I strengthen my belief in my abilities. I view my accomplishments and celebrate my victories. I analyze my personal strengths and, and how to leverage them. I rely upon my faith. Through prayer and meditation, I understand the value and importance of my life. I appreciate my blessings. I feel ready and eager to use them wisely. I see the company of those who inspire me and to aim higher. I surround myself with family and friends who encourage and support me. I reflect on char characters and books and figures in the news who have qualities of, and accomplishments that I admire. I take care of myself. I, I, eat, I eat food filled with nutrition, exercise daily, and manage stress. By protecting my well-being and establishing a sense of security, I create a strong foundation that helps me pursue my goals. Today, I strive to reach my full potential. I maximize the amazing powers that dwell within me. So here are our questions for today. These are good. Sorry, I think I was like, I think my head was partially cut off. Um, what is one example of how I discovered a hidden strength? So think of a hidden strength that you have or that you've had. Something that, um, you know, what's, what's one example of one? That's good. That's a good one. How I discovered my hidden strength. Normally it's through obstacles, right? I know all my hidden strengths have come through when I like thought I was going to give in and give up when I thought I wasn't going to make it. Um, how do I feel when someone recognizes my potential? You know, certain people don't, don't they? Like, it's 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 rare to have someone come up and encourage you and see your potential and tell you that they see something good in you. So those are treasured people. When someone, like, recognizes something, like, encourages you, I think that's, like, just so, so rare and so to be valued. So hold those people close. Because I know for myself, like, that's, that's an odd thing. It's really odd to have. So those people, hold them close. What are three words that I associate with activating my potential? Okay, we have to do that one. Three words, you guys. Three words that you associate with activating your potential. What are three words that help activate your potential? You know, empowered could be one. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. I love to hear yours. Like, if you end up, if you come, when you come to the video, like, post them in the, post them below, or um, either Facebook, post them in the, in the, in the feed, or you guys post it in the comments. I'd be curious. What are three words that you would associate with? That would be awesome to come up with a really cool list of what all we came up with. So if you want to join in my fun, um, list them below. If you can think of them, that'd be another thing. It's good to breathe in today um, when we do our do our uh, meditation here. All right, let's go ahead and get going on. They sit tall over their shoulders. <sighs> Getting to that point of mindfulness where we're just in the present moment. Where things are not good or bad, they just are. This is just it. We're not dwelling on the past or worried about the future if you're in this moment. Try to calm our minds and the racing thoughts that just overtake it. And as we do that, we focus on the good things in our life. So remember that good thing I asked you to think of earlier? Now's the time to tap into it. It's like you're holding in your hand, you see it, what it looks like. Is a memory, like embrace that memory. What feeling does it give you? What feeling does that memory give you? There's a color. What color would you associate with that? And as we breathe in deeply, inhaling the deepest breath we possibly can, 
we inhale that happy thing, that thing that we can be grateful for. We breathe in the memory, the thought, the emotion, the color associated with it and allow it to take over our entire being. Reminding us that even in uncertainty, even in troubled times, there's something good we can hold on to. We can live out a state of gratitude no matter what the circumstances are. And then on the exhale, we take that, whatever's holding us back this morning, whatever is trying to steal our joy, we're trying to rob us of our peace and our happiness. On the exhale, we just breathe it away like we're fogging up a window as far as we possibly can. Breathe it out. Tell it doesn't have a place here anymore. You can't come back to your life today. Tomorrow's another day, but not today. Today you're going to live to be you're with your full potential to the being that you want to be, the person you know that's deep inside you. I'm not going to hold back today and worry about everything else. We can only do what we can do with ourselves. We can become better humans. And as long as we're striving to do that every day, that's what we have to live in. That's what we have to be okay with. We can turn off the light at the end of the day and know that we lived our greatest in the midst of troubled circumstances. And then as you breathe away, everything that's holding you back today. Look back within and smile, realizing, looking back at the thing that you're grateful for, realize that it's inside you now. It can't be taken away today. And just say thank you. Thank you, your God, the universe, your higher power, for giving you this day, this, this thing to even be grateful for. Another chance at showing up today for your kids, for your spouse, for your partner, for your family, for your friends, and for yourself. And I'm determined right here, right now, that we're going to leave this place and we're going to leave this area and leave the mat or wherever you are in your home, wherever we are right now sitting, where we stand up, we're going to take with us the sense of gratitude and we're going to spread it to those around around us that we have impact and say, we're going to help bring up the level of positive, the level of, of just appreciation for life rather than bring others down today with, with our presence and our words. Right, open up your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to hear what your words, uh, three activating words for your potential. I'd love to know. Um, so that be brave, be kind, live authentically and always shine. Hope to see you another time today. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm live and um, spread the word about this to others. I could um, get more word out that there's free workouts for everyone. All right. Thanks for joining. As always, comment. Let me know if you need anything. Um, If you're not on YouTube, if you're not on my 20 day challenge where you can earn free prizes and be a part of a community, go to www.180fittribe.com and you can sign up. And um, you'll be on the inside right away. And there's a lot more that I even do in there. So hope to see you on the inside. All right.